It's so responsive. Hey guys, thanks for joining me for what is a very exciting video for me. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Line 5 string electric violin from 3D Various. So my first experience with 3D Various was actually at Winter Nam this year. They had a 5 string line violin there and it sounded like this. <laughs> So much fun. It was addicting. I didn't want to leave uh, the booth, even though I had a plane to catch back to Nashville. Um, and now that I've got my own here in Nashville with me, I can't wait to plug it in and play it. But before we do that, let's just take a quick look at the body of the violin for those of you who might be curious. So as you can see, the top of it is their signature 3D Various 3D printed material. Very, very cool. And as you can see, we're gonna use a ball end string for this type of violin. And it's gonna go through the 3D printed material in this clamped pattern here, making it super secure. The wood is probably one of the most striking parts about this violin, and it is actually two different types of wood. It is, I believe, beech and sepo wood put together. Then it is machined into the basic shape and then sanded by hand and tested by hand to make sure the quality is there. It's beautiful. The next cool thing we get to here is the pickup, which is the three to various S pickup and it's made for their line series of violins. It is 3D printed material caged in a metal protective shell uh, just to protect the, the, the pickup. Now most violin pickups only have one piezo crystal uh, kind of right in the middle of the bridge to pick up the sound. But this S design that they've come up with actually has a separate piezo crystal under each individual string. So with that set up, you should be able to hear pretty much every nuance of sound made by this violin. Then of course, we've got the chrome plated uh, guitar tuner pegs, which make tuning a breeze. Super cool. So it has a volume knob and a quarter inch jack for the passive pickup, which means there is no battery in this thing. You just plug and play. And then down here, of course, you have the shoulder rest system, which is made to be able to fit whatever shoulder rest that you already enjoy using on your violin. Just goes on like this. And then, of course, I'm excited because this particular one was made just for me, and so they hand-painted my name uh, J.H. Warren on the side of it, which is super, super cool. I'm pumped about that. That's it for the overview. Now let's get into playing this thing. Now for this, let's go ahead and put on headphones. With how incredibly responsive and sensitive this pickup is going to be, I know there's going to be a lot of really intricate things that you might not be able to hear uh, just coming through your phone speakers or through your laptop speakers. Uh, so put on some headphones, follow along, would you? That's it, plugged in, ready to go. Super comfortable, super, super, super light. Like one of the lightest electric violins I've ever held in my hand. It's incredible, super light. Here we go, time to play. Turning the volume all the way up. There it is. So it, it is so very responsive. Wow. 
Oh. Oh, okay, I'm definitely hearing some notes resonating that aren't the ones I'm playing. That's why I'm wearing the headphones. I think, yep. So what I'm hearing is the notes on the other side of the violin resonate. This is why we wear headphones, so we can hear this stuff. Now, honestly, in a band setting, you probably won't even notice this, and so it's probably not something that you need to worry about. But I do have a solution for it. Let's, let's try the chopping first. So I've got all the strings completely muted. There should be no sound happening uh, besides the crunch or the chop sound. But you hear that, don't you? You hear that? No worries, I have a solution for this. Because this happens on acoustic violins too. It's just normally, unless you have a really, really nice microphone or something that's very, very close proximity to the strings themselves, you won't ever hear this. But again, 3 Various has made one of the most sensitive pickups I have ever played in my life. And so of course I should have known that they are going to pick up everything. Um, Simple solution, take a little piece of felt, or in this case, I've used some foam rubber from my case, my pedal board case, and I'm just gonna weave it in and out of these strings here. There it is. So I just weave this little piece of foam in and out. So let's try this. Now I'm gonna do that muted chop again for you. Let's see if we can still hear those strings. Nope. Completely gone, just the chop sound. And now it's gone from the other one, but still look. The string is still able to ring. I have done nothing but kept this side of the bridge from ringing. But the part that you want to hear still can ring. It's so responsive. Wow, it's actually cleaned up a lot of the other styles of playing, not just the chop, because it's taken all that ringing, extra ringing out, which is great. So uh, it wasn't really a problem to begin with, but if there was anything uncomfortable about that, it has been solved with a little piece of felt. Incredible. But guys, I can't tell you, one, how light this thing feels, how easy it is to play, the action on it is perfect. The pickup is one of the most sensitive pickups I've ever played. Um, and I've played quite a few violins. I absolutely love it uh, because it is making everything that I'm doing, all the choices that I make in bow weight or bow speed or uh, finger articulation on my left hand, it is making all of those options actually mean something. They're not getting lost in a bad pickup. Uh, they're going right from my hands to the sound system, which is great. Whew. So that was the line five string electric violin from 3D Various. So if you are in the zone of shopping for a new electric violin, uh, the line series by 3D Various is definitely one worth checking out. Um, they come in four strings and five strings. So whatever suits your fancy. If there's anything I missed in this video, please let me know. And either way, drop me a comment or a line on any of my socials at Jonathan H. Warren. I'd love to know that you are here with me on this video. But for now, that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Peace.